right, welcome to the last videos that we will have to build. Uh, this uh, video set, we're dealing with the cam and follower, or the crank and slider. Okay, and you may have heard the train sound effects at the beginning, because that's where you do see some of these different mechanisms. So we have uh, the crank and slider, and the cam and follower. They're fairly similar to each other. One is horizontal, and one is vertical. What uh, we notice in this mechanism is that we use a different type of gear. So these aren't round gears. They don't even have teeth on them. Uh, I've heard them called Nautilus gears or sometimes shell gears. You saw the one in the picture, this little animation on the screen. That has uh, some teeth on it, but the ones we're using don't. Okay, so let's take a look at the crank and slider first. Uh, there's a horizontal motion in this one, so I turn the handle in the back. And we do notice that... It goes, okay, so it goes back and forth. This is a rotary motion at the input, and then at the end, this is called reciprocating when it moves back and forth in a straight line. So I just have to rotate the handle uh, clockwise, and still the slider piece at the end does go left and right, okay? Um, it doesn't matter which way you move this, it still does the same thing. Uh, does this have a reversal of power? Well, I can try to move the slider but I can't make the handle go all the way around, okay? It kind of stays where it is. So there's no reversal of power on this type of mechanism. It's a crank and slider. Uh, some pointers when you build it, you do need some standoffs here in the middle so that not everything uh, pushes together against the, the metal plate. And then the axle that goes through the shell or Nautilus gear, the shell gear, make sure that it doesn't stick out too far or it's gonna hit as you try to turn it around. Uh, last thing to be aware of, there's not a lot of clearance underneath this when you build it. So make sure that you do use the you do use the top row of holes in uh, the metal base plate. Okay? All right, crank and slider. If you want to do something a little different, we have the cam and follower. Uh, if you look at it, I mean, it kind of looks sideways like it'd be a crank and slider. Um, so it's a little bit different. This one, as I turn it, it doesn't work that way. It's directional. Okay? So in this case, gravity is our friend. Uh, it helps us work this mechanism. And I turn it, and it keeps going. Okay, I can't do anything with this, uh, this follower piece at the top. That doesn't do anything on its own. I just have to turn it, and it works. Okay, uh, It doesn't work in back, going backwards either. This is used in some pump mechanisms, uh, oil derricks. If you've ever seen the old-fashioned oil wells down south, they use this sort of mechanism to prevent the oil from going back down underground, or in a pump it prevents the water from just uh, draining back out of the pump uh, when it's turned off. Okay, This one, some of the challenging things, make sure this follower piece does not line up right in the crook here at the bottom of the, the shell gear. Uh, it does get stuck there. You have to line it up so it's actually on the top of that shell gear, and then as you build it, it should work just fine. All right. So, you're in the home stretch. Here's our last couple of items to build. Remember, all the plans are right in your building guide. Uh, let me know when you're done, and I will stamp your sheets. Good luck!